Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Sorry for the mishap. I tried uploading one last night. Today is Monday. I mean, Sunday night. I was trying to upload it. Technical difficulties didn't work, so I just scrapped it and said, you know what? I'm going to film it all over again and I'll go from there. So, today's vlog is going to be the 10 most asked questions about dentures that have that I've come across. And believe it or not, some you're going to be scratching your head like, what? You can do that? Like, yeah. So, question number one, do dentures hurt in the beginning? Well, if you get immediate dentures, then yes, they're going to be sore and of course you're not going to be able to right away eat anything hard because they just extracted your teeth. You either have stitches or you don't. You either have gauze. So yes, in the beginning when you get immediate dentures, they are going to be sore. They are going to be painful and all that versus having your teeth extracted wait six months to a year then get permanent dentures it's still a little uncomfortable and it still hurts a little because your gums are so sensitive that they have to toughen up to the hard acrylic but the only difference between temps and permanence is <laughs> my baby in the background trust me in this video um difference between temps and permanence is the permanents are a lot thinner than the temporaries than the immediate dentures so therefore you know they're gonna hurt either way because your teeth has to get used to having two hockey pucks in your mouth your gums have to be used you know here's a secret cushion grip or denture fit if you're on a budget cushion grip that's what i have on right now but I'm going to have to take it off tonight because tomorrow I'm getting my hard reline. If you guys saw my other vlog of my reline mishap, well, tomorrow we're getting that straight out. So, yeah, but I didn't want to use my DentroFit or even order DentroFit until I got my hard reline to see how much more room I needed to, you know, fill in with the DentroFit. Because DentroFit is silicone and it suctions up really good. But right now, meanwhile, I am just using cushion grip and it's it it works just the same. It works just the same. So that is that if dentures hurt. When do you start to use adhesive after E Day? Um for me I waited a month, four weeks, but what I use as an adhesive in the beginning was Benzident. Benzodent, Benzodent, Benzodent. Because I'd be waking up with so much pain. So what I would do is squeeze the Benzodent all the way around the trough. And just, you know, spray it with my fingers. And put it in there. And it would numb. And it would feel good. Same with the bottom. And that basically worked as an adhesive. So, therefore, I didn't really have to use adhesive adhesive until four weeks and all my stitches were out. Then I started with the C-Bonds. Didn't work. Don't waste your money. Don't. Don't waste your money. So, I started with the C-Bonds and then I went on to trying the secure ones. But the secure strips were a little too good where I had to really apply, like, rip those out so i'll like, say okay i'm only gonna wear the secure strips if i need hold for over 24 hours but even fix it in ultra max like that's what i'm wearing right now with fix it in powder and i when danny's had um alaskan salmon dinner for breakfast and my teeth are still stuck in there like they're not budging i have hard times taking them off at night and i kind of think this to cushion grip so again wait i waited till four weeks but usually you should ask your dentist when you should use adhesive because everyone's different and i'm not a medical specialist i'm just going based off my experience 
so therefore you should ask your dentist but I waited four weeks before I really started using adhesive can you sleep with your dentures in actually yes you could there's some people that sleep with their dentures in and then just take them off in the morning to wash them and all that and slip them back on I personally when I had my e-day the dentist did not want me to take off my dentures for a week so therefore I slept with my dentures and I would just wake up in the morning clean them put the benzene in and boom back in and continue my day you know until finally I went back after a week and he said like, okay now you can soak them at night and leave them out so that's what I did but you can definitely sleep with your dentures in there's people where they cannot have their spouse see them without their teeth so they sleep with the dentures use the three minute tablets to cleanse their um teeth or the dr b's crystal um crystal crystals so yeah there's people that are really anal about that i personally don't care i am married to my husband for better for worse rich or poor so he doesn't care what i look like with or without teeth you know i'm blessed what can i say here's one of the controversial questions people ask about dentures can I bedazzle my dentures? Yes, people, you heard it right. Can I bedazzle my dentures? And I did my research, and they actually sell jewelry kits for your teeth. They're not really meant for your dentures, but they're safe for your dentures, but they're meant for your teeth. And you can put little crystals on your teeth, but they'll eventually fall off and all that and then you're going to be stuck with the glue you're going to have to like kind of peel off the glue so it is a hassle but yes you can bedazzle your dentures what i suggested and recommended no i would not why just think about it if you can't get all that glue off your dentures and you eat i'm a smoker imagine the stain no, I'd rather be safe than sorry. If my dentist says don't F with your dentures, then I ain't effing with my dentures because these little things were expensive. So, can I brush my dentures while they're in my mouth? Yes, I do that. Especially, like I said, I went to go eat at Denny's today. And usually what I do is I carry a little kit with clean a dent and my denture brush. And... After I'm done eating, I go to the, I excuse myself to the bathroom. If there's no one in there because I don't want to gross no one out, I'll brush my teeth really, really, really quick. You know, my teeth, the front, the back, and then all on top of the ridges because I feel that's where the food gets stuck the most as well. So I wash all on top of the ridges, all down here. And then if I need to go with the pick, I do that as well. I do that at home as well. So there's two types of toothpaste for your dentures but that question is coming up so i'll wait for that how many times do you have to put on adhesive a day i say once a day because if you're constantly have to re reapply your adhesive that adhesive is not working for you honey toss that out and um yeah, find yourself a new adhesive because Fixident has zinc in it and they don't recommend you constantly be putting it all day because of zinc. I personally went through so many different adhesives. I tried Dr. B because I do have a dry mouth. Dr. B adhesive was wonderful for the dry mouth. It just didn't last all day. I tried Secure Adhesive. It's awesome i put it to the test against fix it in ultra plus and i think fix it in ultra plus is better and on top of that secure contains alcohol so when i put it on i have to sit there with five minutes till my gums burning the crap out of me and then it finally goes away but it's even with the secure strips my mouth burns so i wonder if those contain alcohol i haven't seen the ingredients on those 
But yes, Fixated Ultra Plus is my favorite one. And again, if you're putting adhesive more than once, you need to look for a new one. What do I need for E-Day? For E-Day, you're really not going to need much as indenture products because it depends if your dentist say leave them in for a, the week or take them out. Like the most likely they will tell you to leave them in because my biggest fear is that if I took them out long enough, they told me I can have them out as long as an hour, but any longer than that, I can swell up and they won't fit no more, which is why they tell you to leave them in. But for E-Day, I do have a video dedicated just for that or what I got for E-Day. I was a little excessive. I did get everything I needed all at once. But if you're in a budget, all you need is a denture bath, cleansing tablets, Benzodent. Don't forget your Benzodent. And a denture brush. And a soft bristle brush for your gums because you will be using that down the line, but not right after E-Day. And for any type of salt, table salt, sea salt, organic salt, because you're going to be doing a lot of salt water rinses. So that is basically the basics you're just going to need. But again, if you want to be fully prepared, then I would go ahead and get different types of adhesive to see which one works out for you. Strips, adhesive to see if they work out for you. I will try to get, you know, different types um, of toothpaste for your dentures to see which one you like best. But again, we'll talk about the toothpaste in a few. It is coming up. Oh, here it is. What type of toothpaste can you use for your dentures? There's only two types of toothpaste that you can use for your dentures. One is by Dr. B, which is Clean-A-Dent. And that one you can use while your dentures are in your mouth. Now, clean and fresh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter is just going to do it right now. But clean and fresh, you cannot use in your mouth. You literally have to brush your dentures outside with the cleaner and fresh. But guys, right now my teeth are pretty white. But after I wash them with the clean, I mean, the clean, the clean and fresh, they get super bright white. And then a lot of my favorite products I like to use for whitening is Stay Away, Stay No Way, um, the whitening tablets by Polydent or Polygrip. Um, what else? There's another one that I don't know the name that I bought off Amazon that you put in your cup or in your denture bath and it's good for like eight days. That same water. But I personally don't like to reuse water because it's gross. So again, Dr. B clean a dent um, toothpaste you can use with a denture brush or you can use to clean a fresh outside your mouth with a denture brush. And this is where I say you should have two different denture brushes because if you are using clean and fresh, you don't want to use that same toothbrush inside your mouth with Dr. B's clean and dent because you still have the chemicals from clean and fresh and you just don't want to mix those two up. So get yourself two denture brushes. Last question, but not least, what's the best brush to use for your dentures? Any type of super soft bristle brush, like a baby toothbrush, Dr. B sells um, specific toothbrushes or soft bristles for dentures, which is the ones I use. I have the green and blue one. So those are the ones I use. So I use one for when I'm, you know, using the clean and fresh and then one for my clean and dent and stuff. And the one I use for my clean and dent is the one I take with me because, you know, it's the one I use when I go out and eat because... I don't want to be smiling and having all gunky teeth and stuff like that. So it really, you don't have to go luxury and buy Dr. B's um, tooth. Sorry, I cut off. Like I was saying, you don't have to use any expensive brush or anything. You know, all you need is a soft bristle brush and you are good. So these are the 10 most asked questions that I've come across you know my way so if you have any more questions you want me to do a part two 
Um, I don't want this to be such a long video, so that's why I'm only doing 20 questions. But if you want a part two and you guys have more questions, you guys want to ask down below in the comments, feel free to drop your questions. And I hope you enjoyed this informational vlog. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Turn on your notifications so you know when I upload vlogs or shorts. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.